Guys, these women begging for food is getting out of control. Please drop a comment below if you're experiencing this, but I'm going to show you guys some evidence here. Check this out. This is just, this is just too crazy. Now, here we do. We have a brother here who, first of all, he has no business talking to her if we're just going to keep it real, but he's trying to run some game. He's trying to run some game. He's trying to talk to her while he's in line. Let's see how the conversation goes. Damn, is somebody going to match my freak? Is somebody going to match my nasty? What you mean? So like you can match my freak. What's your zodiac sign? What are you? You a Libra? Me too. I'm a Libra too. What's your name? I don't really do men Libra. Okay, you can do me. <laughs> you paying for this? Yeah. You paying for this? Hold on. You paying for this? Look, look. You can't even approach girls at the at Starbucks, any restaurants, because their immediate response is asking you, "Are you gonna pay for it?" And let's see what my man does here. <laughs> and, and first of all, let's just keep it real. I would not fold that up. This is not a this is not a foldable. This is uh this is hot garbage. So, brother, you're taking an L for approaching her. Let's just keep it real. Like, this is why I'm leaving, this is why women like her get gassed up. Because you got she's not attractive, and you got brothers trying to run game, trying to sauce them up in uh what looks like a Starbucks or coffee shop. This is a major L. I'll pay for that. Y'all pay for it. What's her name? Shani. Shani? Yeah. My name is Hubert. They call me Hubie though, for sure. Hubert? Hubert. Why you looking like that? Your mom named you Hubert? Yeah, Hubert. Why'd she do that? What you mean, why'd she do that? Is she like... She... You gotta answer that question for me and then... What's wrong with my name? <laughs> What's wrong with my name? Hubert. How old are you? Hubert, 34. Okay, so this, so this Goofy, this Goofy paid for it. Okay, this Goofy paid for it. And um, yeah, he paid for it. So this, is, so this is the problem. This right here is the problem. You have too many uh, weak men, too many weak men who do things like this. She's not even attractive. I wouldn't buy her a box of saltine crackers. I wouldn't buy her a box of animal crackers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't buy her anything. But look at this, bro. You over here thinking you doing something. And this is when these dudes be talking about they running game. This is exactly what dudes be talking about when they say they running game. Oh, I got game. I got skills. This is the type of chicks they be running the game on. Okay? Let's continue. Do you want to successfully date women abroad? Keep in mind now, I live in Brazil and I've been living overseas 14 years. Do you also want to discover all of the top tier travel hacks from a pro? You get all my knowledge and build wealth through stocks, bonds, mutual funds, crypto. I have all of that information in this travel system. Check it out. Check the link in the description box for more info. What you mean? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I go by Hilby for short. Though. I know my name kind of old. That. Don't go by that. But what Hilby? Yeah. yeah. Don't do that. What's wrong with Hilby? How's your relationship with your mom? Cause I'm like, why would she name that? That's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> why you laughing at my name like that? Nah, cause I have. I've never met a Hubert. Have you? All right, give me a nickname then. Hubert, but I met a Hubie before. A Hubie, right? But you never met a Hubert, but a Hubie, right? Hubie. 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 Oh, you never met a Hubie before? Mm -hmm. All right, give me and then hold on and then go back. You have you have the barista. She's in on it too. She's like, oh yeah, sis, get a free get a free uh, latte out of them, and she and she trying to play along with it too. So yeah, man, this is garbage. And Huey, you taking a Huey? Oh, you never met a Huey before? Mm -hmm. All right, give me Let's a nickname. Here. My dad's name is Burton. So Burton. Like, Burton is better than you. Burton. Who cares about your name? That's what they do. They they're going they're going in circles about a name. Instead of getting down to the point, hey, give me your number, let's meet up, let's do this, let's do that. But they want to sit there and they want to talk about the name and Huey and all this type of stuff. This is not game. Actually, it is game, but it's a joke. It's, it's, a, it's a silly. Burton. 
you think it's you? really old fashioned. Burton's old. That's her dad though. That's her dad? That's uh, okay. Well, give me a nickname then. Just put my number in your phone. Libra. Okay. Put my number in your phone. First of all, I this is this is just me personally. This is just me. But I do not put my number in anybody's phone. If I'm approaching you, and I hate to even go down this road, if I'm approaching you, I'm not giving you my phone number. I'm not giving it to you because when you give a girl your phone number, you take away your control of the situation because now you are or now you are waiting for her to message you you know what i'm saying you waiting around man i gave her my number i wonder when she's gonna call you give her all the power to her so do do not give your phone number away well if she really likes me she's gonna call no 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 we're not doing that if you approach her you get her phone number and that, and then you are, and then you are, and you maintain control of the situation. And if she doesn't want to give you the phone number, then just say, okay, cool. Have a good day. That's cool. But I do not give away. Now, the only way I'll give away my phone number, because there's always, uh, caveats. I will, if I'm, let's say if I'm, if I'm minding my own business and some girl approaches me, you know what I'm saying? Which rarely ever happens, but she's approaching me, trying to talk to me. Like I remember one time um, in Atlanta, I was sitting on, in the airport. I was coming back from Afghanistan or somewhere in the Middle East and I had on my military uniform, okay? I had a sister girl approach me and she's asking me a million and one questions. Clearly she's interested, she sees a man in uniform, okay? Then, uh, she asked me for my number and I gave her the number. So if a chick is, if a chick approaches you and is like really trying to get at you, give her your phone number. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you get an E for effort. You, 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 you're attractive. You, you, you came up to me, you approached me, you're trying to, you trying to uh, meet up or whatever the case is. Here's my phone number. But if you're on, if, but if you're on the hunt, quote unquote, no, we're not doing that. But anyway, that's just like a little bit of game there for you guys. But moving along, we have a mixed chick, okay? A mixed B. And this is the type of chicks that I like. Now, this is a foldable. This is somebody that I will uh, pipe down raw, like straight up. And she kind of looks like she can be here in Brazil. They got these Brazilian racially ambiguous looking girls. You can just see it here. This is exactly what MT likes. Okay, exactly. Stop the music. How do I turn the music off? But this is exactly what MT likes. When you're not running game on this, bro. So there's a difference between a chick like this. There's a difference between a girl like this and a girl like this. This is what you brothers be running game on. This is it. When you guys be telling me, oh, I'm running game. That's what you're getting. You're not getting anything like this when you're running game. And she's not coming to your house for free. You know what I'm saying? And you smashing on the couch and you Netflix and chilling. Not this caliber of women. Because there's so many other men that are vetting her, trying to fly her out, trying to do all types of better things than you just uh, try to uh, squeeze one out on the couch. She has too many options. But brothers don't understand that. But that's neither here or there. Here we have her talking about some random dude gave her a pizza. Some random guy just got me an entire pizza. Sure, I got back to the hotel safe and didn't even ask my money. It didn't even ask for my number. Chivalry still exists. No, weak men still exist. This is weakness. And I can't play the song, but she's so happy she got a piece of pizza. You know what I'm saying? Look at me. I got a pizza for free. Right. I'm pretty. I got a pizza pizza and he didn't ask me for my number. He didn't try to follow me to my hotel. He didn't do nothing. And this is the problem with men in the United States. You're you, 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 you give away your power, your wealth, your resources, and you and you don't get anything in return. You have too many men that do that. They send cash apps. Good morning, boo. Here's a cash app. Go get your nails done. And don't ask for anything in return. They think that they are doing something special when they are giving free items away. 
But the problem is, is that you're conditioning these women to expect to get things for free and not get anything in return. You are creating that environment. And unfortunately, that's where we are today in the United States. Now, when you come to Brazil and you come to all this other stuff, they ain't getting no free meals. They're not walking down the street and then somebody says, here's a pizza. Not happening. And that's why I love the environment of Brazil, because these men out here have some type of code of conduct. But in, in the United States, there's no code. OK, so she's happy. She got a little piece of pizza. And let me just keep it real. I would. Uh, yes, yeah, you'll get it wrong. We'll just keep it real. And I know a lot of you brothers will do the same thing. You will pop that and you will just say, you know what, skid in it. And that's going to be the end of it. Just keep it real. You can keep it real. I'm going to keep it real. We already know what it is, especially we got a little, little mix thing going on. You, you guys know MT likes the mixers. All right. Now, moving along. <laughs> there she go right there. Hey, boo boo. All right. Now, here we go again. Here we go again. We have another pretty girl. Now she's in Miami. She in Miami. And look what she say. When you live in Miami, so you know someone will pick up the bill. Okay. And you have a lot of girls in the comments saying they support this. Now, I can't play the music or maybe I can. Okay. Look, they so happy. And look, they've taken a picture of the bill. The bill is $670. They had uh, some pizza, lobster, uh, filet, rosemary potatoes. All type. They, they sat there all day eating the meal. And what they say in is, is that in Miami, if you look pretty, some you just hang out in these areas and then some rich. You just wait around for a rich guy to come and pay the bill. Whatever happened to being strong and independent? Whatever happened to, hey, I'm going to go to college. I don't need a man. I can do this on my own. All this type of stuff. It has gone away. And let's be fair. She's a cutie, too. She'll get it as well. She's cute, okay? But this is what the this is the expectation. And again, you are not going to run game on a quality caliber women of that. Your game does not work. Okay? Again, let's go back. Your game will work on this on this uh ratchet chick right here. Your game will work. Okay? You can run game on that. But you cannot run game on this mixed race chick like this or this woman like that. Your game doesn't work. The reason why your game doesn't work is because she got millionaires, multimillionaires, business owners paying $600 for her meal off and don't even care about it. That's why. And when we talk about sugar baby and all this type of stuff, you have to put in the asterisk. You're getting the quality of women. The, the, your most attractive women are just like this. And they're 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 they are. Uh, Wanting to be spoiled, so to speak. OK. And if I'm and, and if I'm not telling the truth, you guys let me know. OK. All right. Moving along. Now, here we go again. And hold on. Before I play the last piece, this is what's happening in the United States. Americans are spending big on dining out despite the weight of inflation. Amer uh, you know, uh, inflation continue to drag America's down. The nation's restaurant industry is on track for a record year. OK, we're on track for a record year. Americans are spending big on dining out. If you take a look at 1997. Right. Fifty nine percent of people ate at home. Versus forty one percent. Now you look at it now. We had a crisscross and COVID-19, COVID, and, then, uh, and on board, everybody's out. 53% of Americans eat out versus 47 eat home. We've had an inflection point here, a, sw a switcheroo. So this is what everybody's about. They want to eat out. They want to find dine. They want to post it on Instagram and all this type of stuff. Okay? And then look at this. I met a girl online and she did this on the first day. This is this is how these women be cackling on their first dates. They so happy when when you when you when you go out and you spend all that money and she noticed she, and no and she knows that she didn't got you. This is what happens. Só uma picadinha. Obrigado teu Júnior. Meu pai, o nome do cara nem é Júnior. 
Júlia. Só uma picadinha. It's a shame, man. It's a shame. So here, more, more, more of the story. Your power is in your wealth. Don't just give it away willingly. Always get something in return. Leverage what you got. Otherwise, <laughs> you're gonna a fool will be parted with his money. All right. See you guys in the next video. Peace.